In this video I'm going to show you how to make a rabbit long tractor, a rabbit long run from start to finish. I'll also tell you how much it costs to build and how many hours it took to build. Keep watching, I hope you enjoy this video. Hi everybody, welcome to our channel. I'm Mark and in this series of videos we're showing you how to raise rabbits for meat. And in this video I'm going to show you how to build a rabbit tractor. What's a rabbit tractor, I hear you ask? Basically, it's a rabbit long run. It allows free grazing for your rabbits, reduces the cost of your food, and it basically gives your rabbits plenty of space to enjoy, rather than being cooped up in a hutch. Um, this one is three meters by 80 centimeters, and it was built a bit on the hop because uh, we bought our rabbits for lockdown, and the rabbits arrived before anything was finished. We had the main structure built, but the wire hadn't been placed on the uh, tractor at that point, and the hutches hadn't been completed either. So Naomi and I quickly put the wire on, and uh, we put the rabbits in, and believe it or not, we were surprised, nine week old rabbits managed to get through the holes of the wire. So we put them back in the box, and uh, had to double up on the wire to make the gap smaller, and from then on, it's been fine. One of the things that I will mention is that we do not have a wire bottom. The rabbits are enjoying the grass directly. We've not experienced any problems with the rabbits trying to burrow under the long tractor. The only time it did happen was when the females was 20 weeks old, she started the habit of digging. But before 20 weeks, not a problem. Um, and we love them. We can move it around the garden, they get fresh grazing every day, um, and I'm sure the rabbits are gonna taste a lot better as well, and they've got happier lives, which is the main thing. So in this video, I'm gonna show you how to build a rabbit tractor, and I'll also point out one of the faults that we established when we built this one, and I'll explain that now. Guys, the one error we made when making this long tractor was that we put the wire on the outside. It hasn't been a problem with the baby rabbits. Um, it's only since this buck got to sort of 20 weeks old that he decided he enjoyed eating the long tractor. And if I show you one of the posts, you can see where he's gnawed it. So the new improvement on the new rabbit long tractor will be the fact that the wire will be on the inside to prevent this from happening. And while we're here, here's the uh, roof of the uh, long tractor and you can see the size of the gaps and believe it or not that's only about an inch and a half wide but a nine week old rabbit was getting through that so we hastily put them back into a box and we doubled up on the wire and as you can see it's a lot smaller now and we've not had a problem and Jasper here is enjoying the sun and the grass of his rabbit long tractor. Okay guys, here's the timbers to build the uh, rabbit long tractor. They're three meters long and uh, six centimeters by four centimeters. I've actually used these timbers to build the current long tractor and all my hutches. I like to build things strong. Okay guys, all the wood's cut. We've got six two meter lengths, six at 88 centimeters. The reason we've got 88 centimeters is we're working with the dimensions of the roof, which is 90 centimeters wide. So by having an 88 centimeter width long tractor, that gives us a one centimeter overhang. And then I've done 10, 42 centimeters. And these are gonna be the vertical struts. And again, I've worked around the other materials. Our wire is 50 centimetres wide. So by having a 42 centimetre strut, I've got four centimetres each side to affix the wire to the long tractor. So that's all the wood cut. It's now just a matter of putting it all together. Okay guys, this is the final framing. 
Uh, we've already made two, so this is the final one. Um, when we had lockdown, uh, all the DIY places were shut, and thankfully, I'd already bought these by mistake. These were 10 centimeter screws, and I've actually used these for all the rabbit hutches and for the previous long tractor, mm. and they work a treat. Uh, as I said, I like to make things strong, um, and just putting one at each. isn't going to move. Before I finish this off, I'll show you what I've already done. And just to give you an idea, that's the size that rabbits have got to enjoy. So quite a nice rabbit run. And I've already made two of these, which is the base, the top, and this will obviously be the roof. Next stage is to put the vertical struts on, then we do the wire, and then we put the roof on. Job done. And I'll let you know how many hours it does take to build a rabbit tractor, especially for someone that's not a qualified carpenter. Okay guys, after creating the uh, three frames for the uh, rabbit long tractor, all it was was just a case of putting the vertical struts in, tying two together, and it's now ready to put the wire. And then we can do the roof of the uh, rabbit tractor. Okay, the uh, galvanised wires on the uh, rabbit tractor now. So it's just a matter of putting that roof segment on. And then it's almost finished. Okay guys, just lifted the uh, roof of the long tractor. Now I'm going to put some wire on that and then just put the uh, polycarbonate uh, roof on. Job's done and we'll get the rabbits in later today. Okay guys, here's the uh, rabbit tractor all finished with its new residence, five baby bunnies. I did say earlier that I was gonna tell you how much it all cost. The wire uh, was about 40 euros, the roof, 24, uh, the timber, 28. I did buy a handle for it, plus some U-shaped nails. So it came in about 100 euros. Now France is known for being very expensive for DIY materials. So I'd be interested to find out how much it costs you guys to make a rabbit tractor in America, in the UK, or around the world. Um, let's just have a closer look. So it's got a plastic roof on. I have put wire on, on the roof as well, just to make sure nothing gets in and nothing gets out. And as you can see, there's plenty of room for the rabbits to enjoy. These are five weeks old. And rather than make a nest box for them, I found these uh, plastic buckets, very big, cut a hole in, and it's great for a little nest for them, keep them warm in the winter months. And that was just 12 euros. So there's my finished rabbit tractor. Great rabbit run for growing out your baby rabbits. There's the three metre one. With its new occupants as well. There's five in there. I've kept three uh, baby rabbits with each mother, just to wean them off slowly. There is a notable difference in the weight between this three metre long tractor and the two metre, which was the plan. Uh, because we run the holiday cottage, we don't want rabbits taking over the garden in the summer months. So this rabbit tractor will be taken away and stored away for the summer months. Our breeding program will reduce in the summer. As regards to how long it took to build the rabbit tractor, now I'm not a carpenter by trade, it took me seven hours from start to finish. And that's with very basic tools. So I'd imagine if you've got all the tools, you could knock one of these out in four or five hours easily. So there we are. Hope you enjoyed this short video on how to build a rabbit tractor, how to build a rabbit long run. Guys, I hope you've enjoyed this short video on how to build a rabbit tractor. All part of our series of videos on raising rabbits for meat. If you haven't already, please subscribe to our channel. 
please give the video a big like and we'll see you again soon. Take care, thanks for watching.